19% of the people who grow up in Washington State, only 19%, actually go on to get a two and four year, or four year degree. It's one of the lowest in the country. I know people will find that very startling because they'll say, well, aren't we one of the most educated areas in the United States? Or in the world for that matter. The truth is, we are. That is true. But a lot of that talent comes from outside of Washington State. A lot of it comes from outside of the country. In fact, a lot of the top end talent, in fact, is coming from other states and other countries at this point. We really don't do a good service to the people who grow up here and give them the opportunities of all these new companies that you hear about. Uh, Amazon.com, for example, brings in people from around the world. So having grown up here in Washington State and seeing the fact that a lot of people I grew up with in, in my neighborhood, they didn't get those kind of opportunities to go on to college. And especially, I think about their kids right now, where they getting the opportunities to go on to college and have access to these jobs that we hear about are so cutting edge and they're paying really good money that we just don't have enough trained workers in Washington State for. And because of that, I went ahead and put forward a bill this session that dedicates more money for higher education training, two and four year uh, degrees or universities. Um, but I did it in a fairly unique way. In Georgia, they have a Hope Scholarship. Anyone who gets a B in high school goes to college under their Hope Scholarship. What allows this to happen, though, is that they have a good, consistent source of revenue that brings in hundreds of millions of dollars every year for higher education. And it happens to be their state lottery. So I came back to Washington and I looked at our lottery. Our lottery is really has been pretty low for about 10 years, brings about $100 million in a year. That's about it. Maybe as high as 130, but roughly about $100 million for the last 10 years. In Georgia, they bring in about $900 million. On a per capita level, we bring in about $20, they bring in about $105. There's a huge difference. So I examined why that was. And what I found out is that in Georgia, they market the lottery different than they market in Washington State. In Washington State, our lottery goes to many things, including K-12 education. But they can't market it for K-12 education because local school districts worry that their bonds and levies won't pass because people will say, I don't, you know, I'm not going to vote for a bond or levy because I already buy a lottery ticket. So because of that, Whenever they advertise a lottery in Washington State, it's always for some luxurious goods, some swimming pool, a cabin in the mountains, these types of things. And the truth of the matter, people don't buy lottery tickets for those reasons. They want to buy a lottery ticket, or they will buy lottery tickets, when they know it goes towards a good purpose. Because the probability of you winning in a lottery is very, very slim. And most people know that. But if they know they're actually helping some cause, then they will step forward and they'll buy a lottery ticket. And that's what they do in Georgia. In Georgia, they say, buy a lottery ticket, send a kid to college. Their ads are completely different than Washington State. They show young children getting, going through the system and actually getting a college diploma. And that's how they advertise. All the kids who get scholarships in Georgia, they print their names and in their local newspapers, they put them out every year so the whole community can see how many of their kids, because of the lottery, go to college. Um, and it has had a dramatic result. Other states are starting to copy that model too. Uh, Arkansas just passed their lottery and they've had a lottery that's been in effect less than a year and already their lottery is about two and a half times more than ours, the revenue coming into higher education, because they can market it correctly. If people know that when they buy a lottery ticket, it's going for a good purpose, they're much more inclined to buy a lottery ticket. And if we did that, and we did the same amount in Georgia, that would bring an additional $450 million a year to our higher education institutions and provide a lot more opportunity for our students in Washington State to get a college education. In Georgia, they've had their lottery now for 15 years, and they've sent over 1.2 million kids college. In the crisis we face now, with the revenue that we have, we're looking at unprecedented increases in tuition. I was looking at one bill that would increase over the next five, six years. State tuition at our universities, almost 70 percent, all the way from about $7,500 to about $13,000 a year. 
And I have to tell you, the people in my neighborhood they can barely afford the $7,500 right now that tuition costs. We need to bring more revenue in. We need to, in fact, make sure that a higher education is accessible to all the people in Washington State so our kids have access to all those jobs. Important in all of this is that we do, in fact, hold the K-12 system harmless so that they, in fact, do get that amount of revenue they had before. So we're going to have to make sure that in our construction budget, which currently about $100 million a year goes to the K-12 construction budget, we're going to have to make sure that we make up for that. However, the net gain to Washington State is substantial. Again, $450 million per year in additional revenue that goes towards higher education. And also, there's an added benefit to that, too. The added benefit is, is that now the ads in magazines, newspapers, billboards will say, go to college. And I think that's a message that people in Washington State, our young people, have to hear. Because so few of them, as I said before, compared to the rest of the nation, go on to get a two and four year degree. And in the future, only one in ten jobs will require a high school diploma or less. Nine out of ten are going to require some education beyond high school. We've got to make sure our kids are prepared for that. Too many of our kids in Washington State grow up believing that college isn't accessible to them. Not only is it not necessary sometimes, but even if they do think it's necessary, they think it's not accessible to them. They have to start hearing the message that it is accessible. I think that the lottery will do a great job in messaging out there, go to college, so kids will really think it's a possibility and not a dream.